Hi, I'm Rachel Steinig, and I'm a high school student. And I'm Rhody Steinig, a math educator. Our society is entering a golden age of math education. We've learned that everybody can access the beauty and joy of mathematics. Parents, teachers, mathematicians, all share a vision of math being taught in a way that's collaborative, profound, and accessible. A math renaissance, if you will. For the past three years, I've been documenting the mathematical experiences of teachers, students, and parents. They've told me what's worked for them and what hasn't. Some people report negative math experiences, such as fear or boredom. I've researched innovative things that teachers are already doing to teach math in ways that are engaging, enjoyable, and meaningful. This is paying off, and the innovative ideas, such as math circles, are spreading. 20 years ago, there were just a handful of math circles in the U.S. Now there are hundreds. And what I've been doing for the past six years is leading math circles. In our book, Math Renaissance, I document for you exactly what happens in a math circle, what kind of questions we ask, and how the students engage in them joyfully. A lot of people could really use a joyful math experience. In our book, we are trying to repair damaged relationships with math and enhance good ones. Sadly, when you think of math, a lot of people envision something like this. Or this. Five seconds remaining. Time's up. The good news is it doesn't have to be that way. Take, for instance, the phrase, endless blue sky. I asked some six-year-olds in a math circle recently what that means. Immediately they started talking about infinity, but then they started questioning. They said, wait a minute, if I go in the jet around and around and around the world forever, is that the same kind of infinity as if I go in a rocket straight up into space and go on forever? In other words, they were asking, is infinity circular or is it linear? And if it does go in a line, does it go in one direction or two? Or is it something else altogether? Mathematicians talk about things like this. Why not six-year-olds? So you don't usually think about six-year-olds doing math at that level, but it's actually not that counterintuitive. Everyone has a desire and a capability to engage in deep, meaningful mathematics. In our vision of the math renaissance, people of all backgrounds will be able to. Our goal is that our work will help to create sustainable math education and contribute to long-term systemic change. You want long-term solutions for your kids, not a quick fix that will stop working tomorrow. Your children want a better world, and you want a better world for them. We all share this vision of making the world sustainably better with deep, lasting, ongoing change. We hope you will contribute toward our vision of a math renaissance. Thank, Thank you. you.